I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. O oh, poet Wordsworth, so much beauty is spoken in your name, yet there are those who seek profit and feel no guilt or shame when the laws of nature they do not respect and the nature of animals they do not protect. Not only damage to Mother Earth do they do, but sometimes to everyone, that is to me and to you. So are we ready then? Yes. Okay, look, I've got your Mac in here. Okay. And I've got water. Uh, but look, were they having any water in the pub? I mean, how far oh, is it away? It's only four miles. We'll oh, that's alright. Right. I'll put that in. And the sandwiches, we may not need them because no, I'm sure no, they've got no. food. Um, Come on, I'm dying to go. Well, I'm going to take my credit card and my cash just in case. Yeah. And if you want, I can carry the backpack halfway. That's alright. Alright. I've got the mat. I've got the mat. You, yeah. you take the mat then. Well, I'm dying yeah. to stretch my legs. I haven't been in this part of the world for a long time. I'm, you know, we can take some photos. It's beautiful, nice, isn't it? it? Look at that. The yeah. beautiful, I've beautiful. I've got thatch cottages down there. Wow. Are yeah. like you shut the door then? Yeah, that'd be fun. As long as they don't sneeze, we'll come back with a cow. Ow! 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 I'm twisting my ankle. Oh, no, no. Oh! Oh, I've, right. I've tripped in some sheep's gunge or something. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I think I'm all right. Yeah? No, no. No, I can't put any pressure on it. Oh, dear. I'm going to have to find somewhere to sit down. No, I'm sorry. sit over there, look. Yeah. I'd love to help me. Yeah. Let oh, me ow! Let me come on your bad side then. Oh, ow! Oh, I'm sorry to be a nuisance. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, oh, ow, ow, oh, oh, ow, ow. You know, it's swelling up. I can feel it swelling up. I want to take my boot off. I don't think I'll get it back on again. I'm going to have to crawl back to the caravan on my bum. Oh, no. oh. Look, there's a road over there. If I go back and get the car, yeah. I'll get your slippers and come back. Oh. And if you hobble over there on your slippers, you'll be all right. Yeah? That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry to be a pain. It's okay. You're only really taking both of you anyway. A photo? Yeah. Come I'm on. looking my best. <laughs> Forward. Yeah, that's a laugh for start. I'll leave you in the bag with a okay. package. Okay. Okay. Right. There's a car keys. Anyway, we'll probably still go to the pub. Oh, we? that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good idea. All right, see you soon. Yeah, I'll be in half an hour. A lovely, lovely day for a walk. Are you on your own? No, I was with a friend, but she hurt her ankle, so I'm going back to get the car. No, it's such a shame. Well, look, I, I, I'm going up that way. I'll be sure to say hello. Yeah. Uh, what's your name? My name's Rebecca. Okay, yeah, Rebecca. Tell you I won't be long. I'm nearly at the car now. Will do. Will yeah. do. Thanks.
Rebecca Simpson? Yes. I'm PC Dennis. I've come in connection with your missing friend, Susan Moore. Oh, yes, come on. I do sit down. Thank you. Is there any news? I'm, I'm afraid I do have some news. And I'm afraid it's bad news. Okay. We've found a body in the location you showed us. Oh. It's the body of a woman of roughly the same age. But whereabouts did you find her? In the river. Susan. Susan's a good swimmer. Yeah. We'll, we'll need to take some next of kin details for Susan. Oh, uh, yes, In order to carry out a positive ID. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I, I'm not sure who's the next of kin, but I've got her daughters and her ex husbands I can give you their details. If you want to take those. Yeah. Oh, please don't let it be so. Thank you. So how did it happen? She was sitting nursing her ankle when I left her. We don't know for sure, but I dare say we will be in touch. We have all your details now and we'll be in touch in due course. Of course. Good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you for coming in. Um, I'd just like to remind you before we start that this is a taped interview. Everything that we say will be recorded on the tape. Uh, just for that benefit, I am Detective Inspector Jarrett. My colleague is PC Dennis. Also present are Mrs Rebecca Simpson and her legal representative Mary Osborne. So, um, just to start, um, I spoke to you last week Rebecca about your relationship with Susan Moore and I'd just like to follow that up and ask you a few more questions about uh, that and what happened on June the 7th this year. My relationship? What's that got to do with anything? Did you find out what happened to Sue? We have found out yes um, I have a copy of the pathologist report here. Uh, unfortunately Sue Moore suffered extensive bruising to her abdomen and her upper body area prior to her death it would appear and we would surmise that she was violently assaulted pushed into the river and unfortunately she caught her head on a submerged rock which led to her drowning oh. we are treating this as murder poor Sue poor Sue who would want to do that to her why would anyone want to kill her? Some random stranger, perhaps? No. You can't be serious. You don't think I killed Sue? Oh, this is ridiculous. I'm sure we can quickly clear this up. Well, we hope so. How long have you known Susan Moore? Oh, years. 
when my husband and I got married, Colin and I got married, we moved next door to them. And uh, Sue and her husband just got married as well, so we had plenty in common. We used to go out as foursomes all the time. It's great. So you would say you were good friends? Yes, of course. She was one of my closest friends. Oh, poor Sue. And poor Sally, her daughter, you know. What must she be going through? And what about your husband, Mrs Simpson? How did he get on with Sue? Well, all right, you know. But, I mean, he had more in common with Paul. Two guys together, you know. We used to go as foursomes all the time, I told you. It was a shame for Colin when they split up. You know, it was a bit awkward going out as a threesome. And that's when we started going just the two of us. And why did they split up? I don't really know. She was a bit cagey about it. She said there was nobody else involved. But, uh... So, let me get this right then. You say you were a good friend of Sue, and yet you didn't know the reason for the breakup of a marriage. Isn't that rather strange? I thought women spoke about this sort of thing. Yes. But, but she said no one else was involved, and I just left it at that, really. If she'd wanted to talk about it, of course I would have done so. But she didn't, so I just felt it was... It was Good to be supportive and, you know, see her through. Hmm. So why are you asking about the marriage breakup? You don't suspect Paul, do you? No, we don't suspect Paul. Paul has a cast iron alibi for that day. Right. He was involved in meetings and we've confirmed that. Right. So then you're telling us you didn't know the reason for the breakup of the marriage of Mr and Mrs Moore. Well, I am, yes. So what does this have to do with me? Yes, this line of questioning does seem rather inappropriate. Rebecca, you do not have to answer any of these questions. Well, I put it to you that you knew the reason for the breakup. You knew that Susan Moore was having an affair with your husband, Colin Simpson. What? Sit kidding. down, sit down, please. We can either do, deal with this the easy way or the difficult way, and I will arrest you. Arrest me? What for? For murder, Mrs Simpson. Oh, for murder. It's ridiculous. Surely I don't have to answer this. I believe that Sue told you on your walk that she was in an intimate relationship with your husband, Colin Simpson, and in a fit of rage, you assaulted her. You either kicked her or punched her in the stomach, and then you pushed her into the river. This is ridiculous. In fear and panic, you ran away, later to return to the scene. Do I have to listen to me? This is, this is ridiculous. And then you filed a missing persons report. Isn't that right? It's wrong. You're so wrong. Surely I don't have to listen to this. This is just is too much. If they decide to charge you, you will have to stay and listen to the allegations against you. Um, but you do not have to answer the questions. You always have the right to refuse, which they will tell you if they caution you. You would do well to listen to your solicitor's advice and tell us exactly what happened on that day. This is your chance. Well, my side of the story is perfectly simple. Sue was my friend, we went on a walk together, she slipped and hurt her ankle. I left her there with a the rucksack and sandwiches and went back to get the car. When I came back she was gone. That's it. What about that woman I met? I told you about her. She was very shifty looking. She must have done it. We've eliminated her from the inquiries. She's got no connection with Mrs Moore at all, no previous convictions and she's of no interest to police. She did mention that you said that Sue was not far away, but she did not see her. But she must be lying. I only left Sue ten minutes before I met her. She looked very shifty. I'm sure she must be lying. So let's get this right. You're suggesting that someone who didn't know Sue walked along the riverbank, saw her, assaulted her, and pushed her into the river for no reason. Now, come on. 
Do you know how stupid that sounds? Well, if it wasn't her, it must have been someone else. It wasn't me. Someone must have walked across the grass or, or, or hidden behind the bushes or something. It must be. I don't understand. Well, we don't think so. PC Dennis, can you tell us what the uh, CCTV show, please? CCTV footage in the area shows no cars stopping in the previous hour before your car arrives and you probably jump out and walk across the field and also we checked the other end that found out that nobody could have walked the distance to the crime scene in 10 minutes. So do you still want to blame an innocent person Mrs Simpson? Could I just have a word with my client in private? Okay uh for the benefit of the tape, the interview will be suspended. The time is now 11.20. My advice to you would be to either plead to manslaughter or to simply say nothing at all and answer any questions with no comment. But I didn't do it. How could this be happening to me? That, that walker must have done it. Well, the evidence is only circumstantial, it's true, but they do have opportunity and motive, and there seems no real chance that another person was involved. Fine. For the benefit of the tape, the time is now 11.30 a.m. Present in the interview room are myself, D.I. Jarrett, the colleague P.C. Dennis, Mrs. Rebecca Simpson and her legal representative. As I said, Rebecca, um, you're not under arrest, you're free to leave. I just want to ascertain what happened on June the 7th of this year. I understand. Do you have a response to the scenario that I put to you? That you violently attacked Susan Moore and pushed her into the river. No comment. I see. Look, Rebecca, we know about the affair from Sue's husband, Paul Moore, and your husband, Colin Simpson, confirmed it. Well, we've established that one other person in the area had nothing to do with the murder of Susan Moore. Do you have anything to say about that? No comment. Well, Rebecca, you leave me no alternative. I'm going to formally arrest you for the suspected murder of Mrs. Sue Moore on the 7th of June, 2023. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Good evening, this is the six o'clock news on LCT. A woman has been found guilty at the Old Bailey of the murder of her friend whilst out on a summer's walk. Rebecca Simpson, a retired teacher, has been found guilty of the murder of her love rival, Mrs. Susan Moore, and sentenced to life imprisonment. Simpson violently attacked her friend before pushing her into the river where she hit her head upon a rock and died at the scene. Police said that the injuries on Mrs Moore were consistent with her being attacked with a stick or something similar. Refusing to plead to manslaughter, Simpson attempted to blame local businesswoman Anne Higgins, whom she happened to meet nearby. The victim was said to be having an affair with Simpson's husband, who today was unavailable for comment. The Prime Minister today announced new legislation around the...
it's me. One of them's got out. You know damn well what. One of those big horned rams. Look, it's got out and I, I think it's killed a woman. No, no, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Right, okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're going to do. Number one, you're going to get that sheep back in, repair the fence. And number two, we're not going to let anybody know about it. The police? The police don't realise, they've had no idea. We can't afford to take responsibility. It, it will eat up all of our profits. Yes, and, and we'll be forced to destroy them. We can't afford to lose these rams. Anyway, we can't help it. She's dead. She's dead by the look of it. Look, if they're going to think it's anyone, they'll think it's a friend. Yeah, she was with a friend, but the friend didn't see it. I did. I'll tell you what, isn't Mary Osborne um, a shareholder? No, that solicitor, Mary Osborne, she's a shareholder, I'm sure. Yes, we'll make damn sure she gets appointed as her solicitor. That will help us, she won't get convicted. Why, why would they think she did it? She's got no reason. But they won't be looking at us, that's the thing. Leave it to me. So get your backside down here now, mend this fence. And don't, don't let anybody know. Don't be a word to anybody. Do it yourself, yeah? Okay. Don't worry, I'll take care of the rest. Well, Anne, that woman has gone to prison for life. We should have gone to the police in the first instance. Look, look, we put our whole life's work into this farm. We will lose it. We will just lose it. We'll lose it all. Look, think about it. We've tampered with evidence. You repaired the gate, remember? We've committed perjury in court. You, we, we will get done. We've locked up, a, knowingly had an old poor woman locked up for life. Look, we, we, we can't. We, 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 we just can't. Okay then, if you say so. Come on then. I do say. Right, okay. 